George Mendes. For safety first and health first, we're not gonna run super fast because it's quite slippery. Sunday, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, and we have happy George <laughs> close to me, next to me. Hello, George, how hey, are how you? How are you? Good. I'm really good. A little bit sore after yesterday run. In your amazing performance, race. I heard. Go, Ola. Kick it, Ola. Kick it. There's the finish. Let's go, Ola. Go, go, go. You're almost there. How do you feel? Just finished. Hi guys, it was awesome. Thank you, Roberto. Under 63 oh. minutes. Not easy, but so cool. Yeah. So cool. Yeah, but the last year. Yeah, by a lot. So congratulations to Ola. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. Uh, bigger and better things to come in 2018. New York Road Runners rocks. Ah, uh, yeah, it was good. Not easy, but I mind it. I'm so happy about that. Good, good, no good. No pain, no gain, as they That's say. That's the way it is. So we'll go into Manhattan via the Manhattan Bridge, and then we'll turn around in Manhattan, head downtown a little bit, across to the Brooklyn Bridge. It's a beautiful, clear day, I think. It and is. Some beautiful sights. Even and with uh, snow, we can do it. Watch is on. All right, so, George, we, we met at New York Road Runners. Yeah. How long you are running with them? It's gonna be a little over, almost two and a half years now. Race what about was, your running in general? When have you started? Uh, in 2013, working many, many hours, staying out late after work, poor diet, poor. And how did you start? Like general 5k walk run? Uh, it was, uh, it was huh? a walk run, and every mile I had to stop because I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, same for me, yeah. and it just made me so angry that I cannot make it, so I was trying to push it more and more. Right. Better at breakfast was the first goal. A shorter run, like between three and seven miles or so. I'll go on coffee and maybe just some toast. If it's a longer run, I'll get up a little earlier and have some oatmeal and bananas. Dear professional cook, tell me about this. How did it start? It was born. I was brought up in a Portuguese community, Portuguese immigrants, and my uncle, they own a Portuguese restaurant and bar. We always had a garden and we grew vegetables. Oh, your mom little bit inspired you? Yeah, definitely inspired me. What's the best dish you remember while you were small, first by your mom? Tomato and rice. And what's the ingredient? That's rice, it's, uh, tomato? Olive oil, garlic, onion, tomato, bay leaf, okay. rice, and then uh, Stock, maybe a vegetable or a chicken, and you simmer the rice really slowly with that. How long have you been in New York actually? I've been in New York now for 26 years. So Yorker. you feel New Yorker or Portuguese? I definitely feel New Yorker, but Portuguese is still in my blood and bones. You went to school here, right? Uh, I went to uh, culinary school in upstate New York. Uh, I was working at the Stonehenge Inn, a classical French restaurant, practicing what I learned, putting it into a real life situation. How old are you now? Uh, 45. 45. You don't look like. Thank you. I think this is the runner youth, right? Perhaps. That's what I always say. Definitely brings more energy. We are in Chinatown. Do you shop sometimes in Chinatown? Yeah, I mean, it's really fun to diverse. Yeah. And guys, it's so much cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> Happy right now, right? You know, running has brought up a lot of life, a new uh, energy. I think a new perspective is what I should say. Okay. It's a great stress relief for sure. How many races have you done? Oh gosh, so I have three marathons accomplished now to New York City, one Paris. I gotta say, I'm most proud of my latest New York City marathon. Well, I'll be working most of the holiday season. 
really simple at home. You don't eat too much pizza. Too much pizza. Well, too big. Can you make a good pizza or you I don't make it. So you leave it for Italians. I leave it for <laughs> I leave it for the great pizzerias in New York City. What are your hobbies? What do you like to do during your free time? Camping, being outdoors. Discovering new new places in the cities. The five best cities I've ever visited, including the ones that I've worked in. change anything I would just you know really remain focused and remain more patient I think patience is something that comes over time and you learn to be patient in 10 years what would I like to achieve you know, I, hope still, I still have still have a successful restaurant or two and be happy and have a family and any goals for upcoming year for you as a runner you know just to continue to be better better Improve my times, improve my fitness. No, I have so much respect for the sport. It's amazing, the athletic. And there's sport you like, for example, football. I think uh, we have to say basketball and uh, soccer. Yeah, so we're going into Dumbo now. Wow, Dumbo is amazing. The Dumbo means down under the Manhattan Bridge underpass. Yeah. Can you repeat it? <laughs> down under. Manhattan Bridge underpass. Oh, no, overpass, excuse me. I messed up. Overpass. Down under Manhattan Bridge. Overpass. overpass. Yeah. Oh, the snow on the other feet. Yeah, the crispy, yeah. Finishing up with barbecue smell. Yes, how, how ironic. Talking uh, about food, and now it's winter and we got barbecue okay. smell. It's a little strange, but. but maybe it's good. a sign. Maybe it's a sign. It's a sign that summer's around the corner. All right, George. Thank you so much My for talking. My pleasure. Great chatting. It was a great chatting, great front talk. Yes. And once more, if you want to meet George and his restaurant, come to Aldea. Where is it? 31 West 17th Street. You can also see us at www.aldearestaurant.com. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you guys. And we are seeing on Tuesday, right? That's right. See you back on Tuesday morning. High for five. some speed work. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, guys. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Not bad. 5.2 miles. Ah. Thank you, obrigada. Nada. First trick. Yeah. <laughs> Off camera yeah, runner's this, trick. <laughs> this is a little runner's secret. We all use Ziploc bags, but I use a sock to keep my keys so that the jangling doesn't all happen right. in your pocket. So, so, you not the, so you're not the one who's yeah. disturbing with the noise. Exactly. <laughs>